so this is where we left uh, in the last class uh, for FCC universal we have calculated that how edge length is related with the uh, radius of the atom okay r is radius of the atom or radius of the particle whatever maybe it is a is equal to 4 r over square root of 2 or you can also simplify this by multiplying the numerator and denominator by square root of 2 so let me do it in the next uh, in the next page so uh, a is equal to 4 r by square root of 2 is there multiply numerator and denominator by square root of 2 so you will get a is equal to 4 into root r, root 2 into r over root 2 into root 2 is 2 so if we cancel this you will get 2 root 2 into r so how a and r are related a is equal to 2 root 2 into r this is how uh, the edge length and the radius of the atom are related in FCC unit cell. Okay, this is for FCC unit cell. Face centered cubic unit cell. Now, how to calculate the packing fraction? You know very well, packing fraction packing fra fraction is nothing but uh, volume occupied by the atoms in one unit cell divided by volume of the unit cell. Okay, so volume occupied volume occupied by the atoms by the atoms in one unit cell in one unit cell o over uh, volume volume of the unit cell volume of the unit cell this is the formula ok uh, how to find volume occupied by atoms very simple we need to find rank of the unit cell rank is nothing but number of atoms per unit cell in the case of BCC you know sorry in the case of FCC you know that rank is equal to 4 ok so uh, to calculate this you have to multiply rank rank gives you number of atoms per unit cell ok into what is the volume of each atom? Volume of each atom is 4 by 3 pi r cube. Okay, over volume of the unit cell. Since we have taken cubic unit cells, okay, so for cube, all edge lengths are equal. Therefore, you can take that edge length as a. So, volume of the unit cell is a cube. Okay, and you know very well for FCC, rank is 4. Okay, for face centered cubic unit cell rank of the unit cell is 4 we have uh, calculated this in the last uh, class so let me substitute that here so 4 into 4 by 3 pi value 22 by 7 into r cube over and you know very well a a is equal to 2 root 2 r so a cube means 2 cube root 2 cube r cube okay 2 cube is 8 uh, root 2 cube is root 2 into root 2 into root 2 you will get 2 root 2 ok and uh, r cube I will okay, put as such if we cancel these two ok you will get uh, uh, terms like this here uh, you can cancel the remaining terms also ok I will just leave this to an exercise to you you, you just calculate what is the value let me give the value directly because these are all well known one right well known quantities so the value is actually 0 0.68 packing fraction for I'm sorry FCC no 0 0.74 for FCC uh, if you calculate this value you will get the value as 0 0.74 okay so 0 0.74 uh, per, uh, 0 0.74 fraction is occupied okay or you can also calculate percentage uh, packing fraction let me write the next page uh, percentage packing fraction equal to if you want percentage you just multiply this by 100 100 you will get 74 percentage what does this indicate it indicates that out of 100 percent 74 percent is occupied 
okay and remaining 26 percent exists as empty space okay yes that's the point you should uh, keep it in mind right this is for uh, FCC unit cell for uh, face center unit cell right 74 percentage of the volume of the unit cell is completely occupied and the remaining 26 percent exists as empty space okay then then the third one is um, BCC body centered cubic unit cell okay body centered cubic uh, unit cell what about the packing fraction for body centered cubic unit cell we have to proceed in a similar manner okay so let me uh, take uh, a cube I'll draw a cube okay my drawings are not not so uh, nice but assume that this is a perfect cube okay now you know very well in BCC all the corners are occupied all the corners are occupied by atoms all the corners are occupied by atoms then an atom present at the center of the cube at the center of the cube okay so this is how uh, the arrangement looks like but I have told you already uh, when we draw uh, the unit cell on a paper okay just for understanding purpose we draw like this okay with a, a large gap between atoms but actually in the crystal right in the crystal they are not actually far away they are touching right how they touch listen here uh, I'll take this corner as A this corner as A okay and the center center atom as B and this corner as C okay right if you see these three atoms that is a diagonal right I'm, I, I'm talking about diagonal atoms diagonally right these atoms are touching each other okay so what I'm trying to say uh, let me draw here diagonally A B and C right this is A this is B and this is C right diagonally they are touching each other similarly this is also this diagonal to that diagonal right this diagonal to this diagonal this diagonal to that diagonal diagonally atoms are touching each other but in each face suppose if you see the top face in each face the corner atoms are not touching each other corner atoms they are not touching each other corner atoms exist like this in each face you know very well a cube has six phases okay uh, whatever faces you take the corner atoms are not touching each other right but one corner atom and the diagonally opposite corner atom students listen carefully one corner atom and the diagonally opposite corner atoms right they are touching to the center atom they are touching the surface of the center atom this is how the BCC uh, crystal actually look like okay now now what I'm going to do uh, here you see the, you take the center of the uh, atom A and the center of the atom C and this length is nothing but AC okay and here this length has four radius see Th this is radius of atom A this is radius of atom one radius this is another radius this is another radius listen here I am giving symbols A B C but you know very well we have taken uh, elemental crystals okay just for understanding purpose assume that these are all similar atoms A B C all are similar atoms if they are similar atom their radius are same right radius of A radius of B everything are same therefore here the diagonal length AC the diagonal length AC supposed to be equal to four times the radius of the atom okay and uh, uh, if you join the center of the corner atoms okay suppose you take one face so this is one face one face if you join the car centers of the corner atom that length is nothing but edge length a now what is the connection between edge length and the radius of atom in BCC unit cell for this purpose what I'm going to do I, I'll take uh, uh, I'll take I'll, I'll take few, few uh, right angle triangles here let me take this corner as D and this corner as E A 
this is uh, diagonal is ABC and this is ADE. Now you take this triangle first that is ADE okay in in triangle ADE in triangle ADE okay you know really triangle ADE is a right angle triangle correct because this corner is a right angle here we have a right angle 90 degree it's a right angle triangle you, whenever you have a right angle triangle you can apply uh, Pythagoras theorem so with according to which a e square or I can write directly a e equal to square root of a d square plus d e square okay square of this length plus square of this length add them then take square root okay now now uh, what is a d a d is nothing but edge length right a d is edge length similarly d e also edge length right we have taken uh, the edge length as a we represent edge length as a therefore this is square root of a d is edge length a a square d e also edge length that is another a a square so i'll get uh, root of 2 a square or i can write or you can also write equal to square root of 2 into a square root of 2 into a okay so this is ae the length ae now see another triangle aec see in the diagram aec is another right angle triangle now i'll use that right angle triangle and we'll calculate yeah let me write the next page so in triangle in triangle a uh, a E C A E C okay listen triangle A E C is also a right angle triangle here we have 90 degree it's also a right angle triangle I'll, I'll use a Pythagoras theorem again so the diagonal length A C should be equal to or the hypotenuse A C should be equal to square root of A E square plus e c square okay what is a e a e is the uh, face diagonal a e is the face diagonal whose value we got already which is nothing but uh, root 2 into a okay this is the value of a e and what is e c e, uh, according to the diagram e c is nothing but edge length okay e c is edge length a therefore I'll substitute those values here uh, AE value and uh, <coughs> EC value so what will I get AE is uh, root 2 A square if I square it I'll get 2 root 2 if you square it you'll get 2 then A on squaring you'll get A square plus EC is edge length edge length is A take the square A square okay what I did what I did here very simple see a e value a e value here listen a e is equal to root 2 into a so a e square take the square of this root 2 square is 2 a square is a square so I substituted that here 2 a square plus a square 2 a square plus a square is root of 3 a square or I can write root 3 into a okay root 3 into a that is the value of a c and you also know that AC we have already found out AC is equal to 4 times the radius of the atom ok so let me put that value here therefore AC equal to 4R which is equal to root 3 times A or A is equal to if you want A you can write A is equal to 4 by root 3 into R this is how edge length and radius are connected in the case of body centered cubic cuboid cell okay take note in the case of body centered cubic cuboid cell uh, edge length and uh, uh, the radius are connected in this way sir ah yes sir how can you say that uh, both ae and ac are diagonal so uh, how it will be a right angle triangle uh, 
ए ए इज द फेस डायगोनल एम राइट यस सर इट इज द डायगोनल ऑफ द टॉप फेस करेक्ट यस सर एंड ए सी इज द डायगोनल ऑफ द क्यूब करेक्ट यस सर नाउ यू जस्ट सी ए सी इज ऑन द टॉप सरफेस टॉप सरफेस टॉप फेस करेक्ट यस सर एंड बी सी इज एग्जैक्टली गोइंग डाउन Yes. Sir. E C E C. I'm sorry. Huh? E E is on the top surface. E C is exactly going down, right? And that yes, angle sir. should be 90 degree because uh, uh, E E is in one plane, and uh, E C is another plane which is perpendicular. In the case of cube, correct? In cube, every face is perpendicular to each other, right? Yes, sir. So that therefore, this line E E and this line E C should be perpendicular to each other. Yes, sir. Therefore, this angle should be 90 degree. So the triangle AEC, this triangle AEC, right? That triangle should be a right angle triangle. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Right. So uh, this is the uh, relation between A and R uh, in the case of uh, body centered cubic unit cell. Now we'll calculate packing fraction. Okay. You know very well packing fraction is nothing but volume occupied by the atoms in one unit cell divided by volume of the unit cell okay so let me do it here packing fraction right equal to uh, rank of the uh, unit cell into 4 by 3 pi r cube okay over volume of the unit cell we have taken cubic unit cell therefore volume should be a cube what is the rank for bcc you know very well rank for bcc is 2 right In the last class, uh, we have calculated all these things. For body centered cubic unit cell, rank is two. Two into four by three pi value twenty two by seven, and r cube is here. What is a cube? You know very well. A is equal to four by root three r. So take the cube of this. Right, four into four into four, four into four into four. And in a denominator, we have root three into root three into root three. We have taken we are taking cube. Okay. Root three into root three is nine. Uh, sorry, three. Three into root three, and here we have r cube. This r cube and the, in the numerator we have one more r cube, so they cancel, right? And uh, we can write this as two into four by three times twenty-two by seven, and uh, I'll bring it to the numerator. So this will go to the numerator. Three into root three over four into four into four. Okay. So if you simplify this. You will get the answer as 0.68. I'll just leave it uh, to you as a as a uh, homework. Uh, you just calculate and see whether it is correct or not. These are all uh, already uh, uh, well established values. Okay. So packing fraction is equal to 0.68 in the case of body centered cubic unit cell. Okay. Or percentage packing fraction. Percentage packing fraction. If you want, you just multiply this by 100. You'll get 68 percentage. What does this indicate? It indicates that in one unit cell, suppose if you take one the volume of one unit cell as 100 percent, out of this 100 percent, 68 percent is occupied. Remaining 32 percentage exists as empty space. Okay, so that's the point. You should keep in mind. right so whatever unit cell you take whether it is simple cubic or body centered cubic or face centered cubic right not the full volume is occupied some portion some portion of volume exists as empty space okay we we say that yes solids are in solids atoms are tightly packed even though some empty spaces are there those empty spaces we are going to learn those empty spaces are responsible for the conductivity electrical conductivity thermal conductivity and etc etc okay yeah so uh, we'll discuss that okay as we go along right so this is how we should calculate packing fraction for uh, body centered cubic unit cell now let me summarize that so whatever we discussed so far let me just summarize okay so uh in the case of packing fraction right so we are we have, we have taken simple uh, cubic crystals we have only discussed we are not going to discuss all other crystals we are going to discuss i told you cubic crystal and hexagonal crystal we are not going to discuss all other crystals okay 
in cubic crystals we have three types simple cubic crystal which contains simple cubic unit cell okay let me write here unit cell so what is the unit cell present simple cubic unit cell and we have body centered cubic unit cell and we have face centered cubic unit cell in cubic crystals we have three types of crystals exist crystal containing simple cubic unit cell crystal containing body centered cubic unit cell and crystal containing uh, face center cubic unit cell we have only three types of cubic crystals right then what is the relation between a and r okay let me write here relation relation between unit uh, edge length a and the radius r okay in the case of simple cubic unit cell it is a is equal to 2r a is equal to 2r right and in the case of body center cubic unit cell a is equal to 4 by root 3 into r and in the case of face center cubic unit cell a is equal to 2 root 2 into r okay just now we discuss all these things okay these are the relations between uh, edge length and radius in the case of uh, uh, a simple cubic bcc and fcc right and we also calculated the packing fraction and before that I'll, I'll give the rank rank you know very well rank for simple cubic is 1 rank for BCC is 2 and rank for FCC is 4 rank is nothing but number of atoms per unit cell you know very well how to calculate that then we also calculated the packing fraction for each of these uh, crystals packing fraction value for simple cubic it is 0 0.5236 exact value for BCC it is 0 0.68 and for FCC it is 0 0.74 okay so remember these values right these are all um, uh, uh, constant values for uh, uh, characteristic values for these uh, crystals right take okay so uh, in uh, I have given uh, packing fraction values here okay uh, in percentage if you want in percentage just multiply by 100 so in the case of simple cubic 52.36 is percentage is occupied and remaining space is empty okay so if you compare volume occupied volume occupied by the unit cell okay assuming assuming simple cubic BCC FCC have same same edge length okay assume that edge length are same and radius are same radius of atoms are same okay just assume as an assumption if you assume like that then which one occupy more volume FCC occupy more volume okay uh, in the unit cell right then BCC then simple cubic volume occupied what about empty space which crystal has more empty space simple cubic very good that's all right if you compare em empty space simple cubic unit cell has more empty space compared to BCC compared to FCC okay so in cubic crystal keep this in mind in cubic crystal um, more volume is occupied more volume is occupied uh, in the case of FCC unit cell then BCC the last one is simple cubic okay right so this is uh, what we call as uh, packing fraction and the corresponding discussions now uh, uh, do you have any doubt up to this no sir okay yeah good so let me proceed further then uh, the next important part is um, close packing in crystals close C L O A C close packing packing in crystals close packing in crystals and uh, uh, I'm going to discuss only uh, cubic crystals I have told you already okay so our goal is to 
is to is only to discuss uh, cubic crystals close packing in crystals right see how actually the atoms are arranged okay uh, in a three dimensional crystal in the case of simple cubic bcc fcc right how these atoms are actually arranged right so that is what we are going to discuss under close packing okay so before uh, before going to see uh, see real crystals are three dimensional in nature whatever crystal that we see they are all three dimensional okay but to understand three dimensional uh, structure of the crystal okay uh, we should have some knowledge right about one dimension and two dimension students see nowadays people are synthesizing 2d crystals also okay 2d crystals also people are synthesizing but uh, our goal is uh, is to uh, discuss only the three dimensional crystals right okay but because whatever crystal that we see in nature all are three dimensional crystals so our focus is mainly on three dimensional crystals right so but to understand three dimensional crystal you require the knowledge of one dimension and two dimension so first uh, let me start with the uh, uh, Okay, I'll put one. Um, one dimensional, one d, one dimensional crystal. Okay. Suppose if atoms are arranged in a linear manner. Okay. Let me show like this. See. Uh, suppose atoms are arranged in a linear manner like this. This is uh, an atom. This is another atom. This is another atom. this is another atom this is another atom like that okay it goes like this suppose atoms are arranged in a linear manner like this okay see here suppose i'll take uh, this atom this atom i'll take this as a reference atom tell me how many atoms right that this atom touching the surface this atom touches the surface of dash atoms dash many atoms two atoms two atoms right okay listen so th these two are the neighbors of this atom because this atom is touching the surface of these two therefore i can say for one dimensional units uh, crystal one dimensional crystal okay coordination number what is coordination number in solid state coordination number is nothing but number of neighboring atoms that touches the surface of the reference atom okay number of neighboring atoms that touches the surface of a reference atom so here you take any one atom as reference because assume that all the atoms are similar atoms so you can take any one atom i'll take this atom say so this atom touching the surface of two a neighboring atom therefore coordination number for one dimensional crystal is 2 coordination number for one dimensional crystal is 2 okay and suppose if I, if I, if i say this atom is a a then this is also a because all are similar atoms so the arrangement is something look like this a a a a a, a like that okay we can write in this manner instead of uh, uh, drawing like this a, a circle circle and all see these are not circles these are actually spheres okay atoms looks like spheres so if you place the spheres like this right uh, the arrangement uh, is what we called as one dimensional arrangement because all the atoms are arranged in a linear manner right and this uh, something looks like the arrangement a a a suppose if we take one atom as a the other atom is also a right so these atoms are placed in this manner a a a like that then number 2 let me go to the 2d crystal 2d means planar planar crystals two dimensional crystal observe this carefully this is very very important in the case of 2d crystal um we have two types in 2d crystal we have two types okay we can, we can arrange in two in a two different manner so for 2d crystal what i'm going to do i'll take this linear Uh, arrangement and place one okay 
uh, close to the uh, one I will place another one here another one here another one here like that I will take many linear one dimensional crystals okay and I uh, will keep them uh, close to each other okay see what I am trying to say listen suppose this is first layer or first uh, 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 one dimensional crystal where atoms exist like this now I will place the second row second row of atoms Okay, such that I am placing the atoms in this manner. Keep this in mind, all atoms are similar atoms. This is second, second row of atoms. Similarly, third row of atoms. I will take third rows like this, third row of atoms. Okay, fourth row. I am just drawing roughly. Don't worry about the size of, size of these spheres and all. Assume that all are same size. Because... I told you these are all similar atoms. This is actually planar arrangement, right? Are you able to understand this? I have taken many, many number of one dimensional crystals. I am placing one close to the other, one close to the other like that. If you place, I will get, I'll get uh, a two dimensional arrangement of atoms. Okay, this is one type of arrangement. See here. Listen, suppose if the first row, if the first row I will take it as A, second row also A. Why I am saying A? Because, listen, if you see from this side, students, listen, listen carefully. If you see from, the, uh, from this direction, only the first atom visible. You cannot see the remaining atoms. Why? Because the first atom exactly eclipsing the remaining atoms because they coincide the first atom and the second atom here these are all coincide with one another therefore if you see from this direction only the first atom uh, uh, is visible to your eyes remaining atoms they do not visible okay so if the first row of atoms if I uh, if I um, give symbol as A the second row also supposed to be A because they are all eclipsing each other exactly eclipsing each other Therefore, I can say that this arrangement is also a, 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 a type arrangement. Here in the previous case, each atom I have represented as a, a. Now, each row I am representing as a. The first row is a, second row also a, third row also a, fourth row also a. Why I am giving the same symbol? Because the first row atoms exactly eclipsing the remaining rows. So if you see from this direction, you can see only the first row remaining rows are eclipsed by the first row atoms is it clear students is this clear any doubt no doubt sir yeah good now I'll take some reference atom in this you take some reference atom suppose I'll take this atom you, t you can take any one okay see here I took this atom as reference now, how many neighboring atoms touching the surface of that atom? How many neighboring, neighboring atoms touching the surface of that reference atom? Eight. No, no, uh, touch, touching, touching the surface. Look carefully. Four, sir. Ah, only four atoms are touching the surface, am I right? Okay, let me show that. Listen, uh, let me show you uh, which are all the atoms touching the surface. See this atom touching the surface, this atom touching the surface as a reference, this atom touching the surface as a reference, and this. Correct? Only these four atoms touching the surface of the reference atom. Now, let me connect the centers of the neighboring atoms. Centers of the neighboring atom which is uh, touching the surface. What is the shape that I am getting? If you join the centers of the neighboring atoms, square. you'll get a square. Therefore, this close packing is called two-dimensional square close packing. Let me write here. It is called two-dimensional square close packing. Two-dimensional square close packing. Is it clear, students? Any doubt in this? 
you take any one atom as a reference atom and see the neighboring atom which is touching the surface then ah uh, okay maya then join the centers of the neighboring atoms if you join the centers you will get a square like shape which means uh, so because of that we call this type of layers layer of atoms as two dimensional square close packing layers okay two dimensional square close packing layer what is the coordination number for this coordination number 4 sir 4 very good yes 4 yes ma'am good so for two dimensional square close packing okay coordination number is 4 right take them now let me show you another uh, arrangement here what's the other arrangement let me write here see uh, suppose i'll take the first row of atoms like this first row of atoms this is the first row now i'll i'm going to place the second row in such a manner that i'm going to place the atoms in the depressions students see here if you have if you place two atoms like this or uh, two spheres like this this place the center is called a depression i'm using the word depression okay so i'm going to place the second row atoms in the depressions of the first row can you understand this now i'm going to place the third row atoms in the depressions of the second row third row atoms i'm placing the uh, third row atoms in the depressions of the second row like that similarly fourth row atoms should be placed in the depressions of the second row i'm sorry third row okay yeah it goes like this now see suppose if we see from this side students listen, listen carefully see the first arrow this arrow first arrow yes i have the first atom of the first row this is my first row so in the first row i can see the first atom and see the second uh, second arrow mark here second arrow mark along the, along the second arrow mark okay i have the second row atom so second row atom is not eclipsed completely by the first row atom am i right see this one and this one here first row atoms are exactly eclipsing the remaining row atoms whereas here see uh, see the second row second arrow mark here the second arrow mark is is actually facing uh, the depression along the depression you see the second second row yes second row atom is visible now correct or i can see in the other way first row atom is not eclipsing the second row now let me ask you a question is first row atom eclipsing third row atom see first see this atom and this atom are the two eclipsing each other if 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 i see from this direction you can see only the first row atom you cannot see the third row atom correct first row atom third row atom first row atom third row atom first row, see uh, my, i have just drawn this uh, through my hands so uh, the picture is not so exact okay but if you if you take uh, uh, spherical balls and if you place it like this okay first row atoms eclipsing the third row atoms third row atoms eclipsing the fifth row atoms like that it exists similarly second row atoms eclipsing the fourth row fourth row atoms eclipsing the sixth row right so uh, simply you can say like this listen if i say first row atom as a students if we take first row if we represent the first row as a second row is not eclipsed by a therefore second row is a different row i'll play i'll, I'll put a symbol b what about third row is third row eclipsed with the first row or not Yes sir. Yeah. So third row is exactly similar to first row. So I'll place the symbol again A. And this is again B. So the arrangement see here in two dimensional square close packing the rows are arranged as A A A A. 
like that. The arrangement is AAA type. Whereas in in this arrangement, the arrangement is AB, AB, AB arrangement. AB, 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 like that it goes. Now, I will ask another question here. I will take some reference atom. Suppose I will take this. See, see students, listen, observe this carefully. I will take this atom as reference atom. I put a point there. Tell me how many neighboring atoms touching the surface of that atom? Six, sir. Six atoms. Very Six, good. Sir. Yes. Six atoms are touching the surface. Now, let me join the centers of the neighboring atoms which are touching this uh, reference atom. Let me join the centers. What type of shape that we get? What is the shape we get here? Hexagonal. Hexagonal shape. Yes. Hexagonal shape. Therefore, this uh, layer of arrangement is what we call as two dimensional hexagonal close packing arrangement. Two dimensional hexagonal, hexagonal close packing. So, in two dimensional close packing, we have two types two dimensional square close packing and two dimensional hexagonal close packing okay in two dimensional hexagonal close packing coordination number is 6 students are able to follow this it's very simple and uh, yeah so in two dimensional square uh, in two dimensional close packing we have two types two dimensional square close packing and two dimensional hexagonal close packing in two dimensional square close packing the rows the rows are arranged in such a manner that uh, one row is exactly eclipsing the other row okay therefore the arrangement is uh, sometimes called as aaaa type arrangement and the coordination number is 4 in the two dimensional hexagonal close packing Okay, first row is not eclipsing the second row, whereas first row eclipses the third row atoms. Therefore, if first row is represented as A, third row should also be represented as A. Fifth row should also be represented as A. Okay, similarly, if you take the second row, second row is exactly eclipsing the fourth row. Fourth row eclipses the sixth row. Therefore, the second row, fourth row, sixth row, these are all uh, supposed to be uh, called, uh, supposed to be represented by the same symbol. So I'm using the symbol B. So this arrangement is what we call as AB, 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 AB type of arrangement. Okay. And here the reference atom is touching the uh, six surface of the six atoms. Okay. And if you join the uh, centers of the uh, neighboring atoms, right you will get a hexagonal shape that is why this layer is called as hexagonal close packing layer and here coordination number is 6 okay good so now listen uh, we have understood how one dimensional crystal and two dimensional crystal exist in one dimension we have only one type there is no uh, other variety whereas in two dimension we have two one is AAA type arrangement the other one is AB 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 type of arrangement now what I'm going to do uh, with 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 uh, with, uh, with this knowledge, right? I'm going to uh, start the three-dimensional crystal. That is actually uh, more important for us because uh, in nature, right? All crystals are three-dimensional. In nature, all crystals are three-dimensional. So how the atoms, right, uh, are closely packed, right? In the case of uh, three-dimensional crystals, right? So, next one is about uh, three-dimensional crystal, 3D crystals. Okay, for this purpose, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the two-dimensional layers, which we discussed uh, in, the, uh, in the last one, okay? We will discuss 1D and 2D. No, now I am going to take the two-dimensional crystals. In two-dimensional, we have two types I told you. Two-dimensional square close packing and two-dimensional hexagonal close packing. 
I will take first two dimensional square close packing layers. Okay, first I will take this layer, see this layer. I will prepare similar layers like this. This is one layer, students. This is one layer. So like this, I am going to prepare similar layers. Now what I am going to do, I am going to place one layer over the other layer. Okay, like that I am going to place. If I place one layer over another, over another, over another, what will I get? Each layer is two dimension, no doubt in that. Each layer is two dimension. If I place one layer over another, one layer over another, okay, what type of shape I will get? I will get a three dimensional crystal, right? Am I right, students? Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. we are going to construct three dimensional crystals, okay, using these layers. Okay, so first, uh, I am going to construct three dimensional crystal using two dimensional square close packing layers, okay? So, let me write here. Uh, in this, I'll put uh, symbol A, okay, uh, a, a small c, small a, which represent um, using. I'm going to construct 3D crystal using two-dimensional square, square close packing, square close packed layers. Okay, I'll take uh, two-dimensional square close packed layers. Okay, and uh, I'm going to place one over another like that. Okay, suppose, students listen carefully. I'll, I'll, I'll take, uh, in this we have two types actually. So, uh, let me take number one. I'll place the first layer here. Students observe this carefully, okay. It's very easy. It's not so tough. Uh, this is a square close pack layer, therefore uh, each atom should eclipse in the layer. So this is one layer. Just for understanding purpose, let me show like this. Okay, this is one layer. Suppose I'll represent this layer as A. Students observe this carefully. I'm, I'm taking the entire layer as A. I'm representing the entire layer as A. Now I'll take the second layer and I'm going to place the second layer over the first layer in such a manner that one atom should be placed exactly on the other atom. Okay, keeping one ball over another ball. Okay, so if I place the second row atom exactly on the surface of the uh, first row atom, such that if you see from the top, only the second row atom, second layer, I'm sorry, only the second layer atoms are visible. First layer atoms are exactly eclipsed by the first layer atoms. Similarly, if I place the third layer atom, third layer over the second layer, okay, listen, only the third layer atoms are visible, second layer, first layers are not visible because I am I'm placing the atoms in such a manner that the atoms should eclipse the lower layer atoms. Are you able to understand? If I arrange like that, listen, if I arrange like that, first layer if we represent first layer as A, what about the second layer, third layer and fourth layer? No? They are exactly A only. Yeah, all are A layers, right? All are A layers. So if so we, we call that type of arrangement as A A A A type arrangement. Here A represent layers. Okay. So now all the layers are similar layers. Okay. I'm placing one layer over another layer in such a manner that the top layer the top layer eclipses all the remaining layers in the crystal. That means you can see only the atoms of the top layer. You cannot see the layers, the atoms present in the uh, other layers. Okay. If I arrange like that, if I arrange like that, listen, uh, uh, what type of uh, coordination number I will get? Okay, what's the coordination number? It's very simple, listen, very simple. Students, listen, observe this carefully. Observe this carefully. I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to explain. So it requires some small imagination. So uh, let us take this atom as reference atom. Okay. Tell me how many neighboring atom touching the surface of this atom in the same layer. 
Four, sir. Four. Now listen, I am placing one layer above and imagine one layer below. Assume that this layer is middle layer. Okay, this is middle layer. Place one layer above and one layer below. Now the reference atom, right? Above the reference atom, I have one atom. Below the reference atom, I have another atom. Am I right? They are touching. So what is the coordination number? Six. Yeah, co coordination number is six. Six. Okay, take two. Is it clear, students? Is it clear? Coordination number six. Yeah, yes. So can you hear me? Ah, yes, hello. Sir, if it's the same layer, how is it? It should be two only, sir. No, uh, in, the, in the same layer, four no more. Are you asking about coordination number? No, sir. You ah. said the same layer is four atoms. Yeah. Ah, see here, in in this layer, see these four atoms. One, two, three, four. These four atoms are touching the surface of the reference atom. Am I right? Different layers, no, sir. No, no, no. This is this is actually a yeah, single layer, ma. This is a single layer. Okay, it's so a single layer. In this layer. The reference atom touching the surface of the four neighboring atoms, correct? In this layer. Now, just imagine I have one more layer above, one layer above, one layer below. Listen, one atom eclipsing the other atom here, okay? The top layer atom eclipsing the bottom layer atoms. Yes. Right? Suppose if you see this layer, just imagine this layer of atoms are the middle layers suppose if i assume this layer as a middle layer assume that i have one layer above and one layer below therefore this reference atom above the reference atom i'll, I'll get one atom in the top layer below the reference atom i'll get another atom in the bottom layer am i right students are you able to follow because you are placing one atom exactly coincide with the other atom, right? So the second, listen, suppose if you place the one, one layer of atom over this, over this layer, okay, this, uh, the top layer atom should coincide with the reference atom, correct? Similarly, the bottom layer atom should coincide with the reference atom, am I right? That means those atoms are touching the surface of the central atom. Is this clear? Students, are you able to follow? If you find any difficulty, you tell me. Yes, sir. Yeah. See, the, 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 see this requires some simple imagination. Listen, uh, students, very simple. Aditi, listen carefully. See, assume that this is one layer. Okay, now you place similar layer above this and below this. Within this layer, in, in the same layer, this reference atom touching the four reference, uh, four neighboring atom, correct? In the same layer, this atom touching the surface of the four neighboring atom, right? In the above layer, the atom which is exactly sitting, right, on this reference atom, that touches the reference atom. Similarly, in the below layer, okay, the reference atom is uh, sitting on another atom, correct? That is touching with the reference atom. So you'll get all together, you'll get six, correct? Okay, yeah. So uh, coordination number in yes. this, yeah, yes, ma'am. So coordination number is six uh, in the case of uh, uh, AA air type arrangement. Listen, student, here A represent layers. A is first layer, in another A is second layer, another layer is third layer, like that. So it, I'm, I'm saying that AA air type arrangement in 3D crystal means each A represent one layer. Okay, and all the layers are similar. That means the top layer coincide with the all other layers. If you look from the top layer, only the top layer atoms are visible to you. Below layers are, are, are not visible because they eclipses. Okay, with the first layer atom. Are you able to follow? 
okay now listen this type of crystal if you get a three dimensional crystal like this okay we call that type of crystal as uh once again as uh, the, the arrangement is aa type arrangement and the crystal we get is simple cubic crystal simple cubic crystal why it is called simple cubic crystal why it is called simple cubic crystal listen let me just show you here uh i'll take a cube which we discussed already i'll take a cube i'll place atoms at the corner you know very well in simple cubic atoms present only at the corners so i have corner atoms i have corner atoms assume that listen this is one layer this is one layer this is second layer students are you able to follow yes sir yeah now see if, if you see from this top this atom is eclipsing this atom correct aditi are you able to follow this now top layer atom eclipsing the bottom layer atoms right yes sir right so yes, now sir. now now listen listen carefully uh, if the first layer the top layer is a the bottom layer also a because top layer atoms are exactly eclipsing the bottom layer atoms therefore this arrangement is aa type arrangement right so if i take uh four yes. atoms yeah if i take the uh, first layer atoms right you take the first uh, layer, four atoms of the first layer join the centers and uh, take the uh, four atoms in the bottom layer join their centers okay and join the the, the centers of the first layer and second layer like that you will get a, a unicell like this this is the unit cell present in this aa type arrangement am i right students students am i right if i place yes, uh if yes, i place sir. layers as a a a a a like that okay then if you observe the unit cell you will get this type of unit cells this type of unit cell is nothing but simple cubic crystal simple cubic unit cell right so in simple cubic crystal the unit cell present is simple cubic unit cell simple cubic unit cell no doubt very very important in simple cubic crystal the unit cell present is simple cubic unit cell and what about the coordination number aditi listen now i will explain coordination number in the other in a other manner listen suppose i'll take this atom as reference atom see this is the reference atom now right see and uh, listen uh, we have uh, uh, actually uh, in crystal lattice we have many many unit cell right we have many many unit cell so we have one more atom here we have one more atom here in the next unit cell right and uh, in the another top layer top layer i have one more atom here okay now now listen this is actually a crystal lattice similarly in the front layer right in the front i have one atom here just imagine this is a three dimensional crystal right it's a three dimensional crystal so i am showing like this mm. once again i'm giving different colors i'm sorry yeah right now see this is my reference atom this is my reference atom correct in the reference atom listen these are all these atoms are present in the same same layer see i'm just uh, giving tick mark these tick mark atoms are the atoms present in the same layer am i right uh this atom is present in the top layer and this atom is present in the bottom layer are you able to follow now yes sir yeah yes. what is the coordination number now actually these atoms are touching each other namma varaiyumbodhu konjam long distance la varaiyum unicell varaiyumbodhu but in the real crystal they are touching each other okay therefore these four atoms and the top atom and the bottom atom they are all touching the reference atom therefore coordination number is 6 okay take down coordination number is 6 in this case now let me ask you a question suppose if you take two balls place one ball 
over other, another ball. Will it be stable arrangement? Ninga or ball mele nor ball exacta vachinga na apdi ninnittu irukuma? No sir. No, it is unstable arrangements. Very very less stable arrangements. Yes, okay, so simple cubic arrangement is a less stable arrangement in general. That is why in the periodic table listen in the periodic table we have so many elements okay most of the elements elements exist as crystals most elements exist as crystals and listen only one element exists as simple cubic crystal only one element okay only one element exists as a, a simple cubic crystal that is nothing but polonium only the element polonium symbol is po only this element exists in simple cubic crystal why because simple cubic crystals are generally less stable why less stable because you are placing one atom over another atom okay if you imagine the atoms as a sp spherical balls okay if you place one ball over another ball it, it it cannot be stable it cannot be stable okay that is why see you know very well polonium is a radioactive element right it is, that is also unstable so that is why in the periodic table okay most elements exist in other forms not in simple cubic form because simple cubic forms are generally less stable okay simple cubic crystals crystals are generally generally less stable this point you should keep in mind okay so this is regarding uh, simple cubic crystal okay i stop here in the next class we'll discuss uh, another type of arrangement using the same 2d square plaque uh, layers see using 2d square plaques layer close plaque layers we have placed the layers as a a a a if we arrange in a a a a type manner you will get simple cubic crystal in the next class i am going to uh, discuss that if i place the layers in a different manner instead of a a a if i place it uh, place it as a b a b a b like that i will get a different crystal okay we'll discuss that in the next class okay i stop here All right if you have any doubt you can ask me now thank you sir right pa yes thank you thank you sir. thank yes, you pa. yes pa thank you thank you all thank you students thank you sir yes pa thank you